I would say it doesn't make you happy, but it definitely makes you feel better. <laughs> like, anyone yeah. that tells you otherwise is bullshit. Yeah. Ooh, that's electric. Holy schmoly. Nice. Show me the key. Show me the key. Oh, goodness gracious. It's pretty heavy, actually. And it states Lamborghini. And over here. Looks nice. So, where is your beauty? Where is your beauty? It's right there. Ooh, green one. Looks nice. So why did you buy Fer like a Lamborghini instead of Ferrari? <laughs> I don't know, I went to buy a Ferrari. A F, F8? 488. 488. And then I seen this in the showroom and I just got... Really? Because yeah. I've always wanted a full Levante. Uh-huh. And when you hear the sound... Happy face. You just like yeah. Just oh nice. Oh look at that. It looks really good. Huh? So you went to buy like Ferrari and you decided to stop on a on a Lambo. Yeah, so I walked in the showroom and seen this right in the center and I was like it just made you feel more special. Like and driving, it, sitting, or just, just owning? Just seeing it. Just seeing it. Yeah. And it's probably the special color. The color, the carbon fiber. Like, How much was was it in Dubai? Uh, Eight hundred ninety thousand dirhams. So. And in dollars? So. Dollars like uh, two hundred forty thousand dollars, I think. Two forty. And do you pay taxes when you purchase it? No. So you just like pay two forty and that's it. Yeah. Out the door. What year is that? Eighteen or nineteen? Twenty eighteen. Because he only made it in twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you like owning a Lamborghini? Yeah. yeah. Good brakes. Good. Good. <laughs> I need new brakes soon. Good brakes. <laughs> so what, what buying Lamborghini meant to you? Just an achievement, like hitting the goal of like always dreaming of having a Lamborghini. So I think that was probably the biggest thing. And um, it does make you feel special every time you get in the car. Mm -hmm. Like when you start it up and you rev it and you sit in the car with the steering wheel and you know you've bought it outright and you've worked hard for it. It does make you feel that little bit 1% better. Like they say materialism doesn't bring you happiness, yeah. but it definitely like raises your standards and levels of achievement. And I would say it doesn't make you happy, but it definitely makes you feel better. <laughs> Like anyone yeah. that tells you otherwise is bullshit. Yeah. It's like uh, our mentor Dan Penny, remember yeah. he said like uh, default is a bitch? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so your default right now is kind of like a I'm super car, it's like fancy cars. Mm -hmm. So how long are you going to keep it? I think I would keep it maybe six months and then... Uh, and then you sell it to me? Yeah, we'll sell it to you. If you, if you come to Dubai? Why? You should, you should yeah. go to Ukraine. It's like the like port right there. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll see. Six months, it's going to be like what, March? Yeah. It's about season starts in Kiev. Perfect timing. <laughs> so what's next? Like after like uh, Lamborghini. So next for me would pop, maybe be a Ferrari, like F8 ah, potentially. Okay. Ferrari F8. Um, or for an everyday car, I would get a Rolls Royce Wraith black badge. Mm -hmm. That's something that I've been looking at. You mean cooling so, it? No. No. The, the coupe. Oh, okay. Rolls Royce Wraith. Oh, Wraith one. Okay. Yeah. Cullinan's nice. It's big. Do you, do you really need this like a family car? You don't really need it. You don't no. really need it. So Ferrari in six months and then maybe... So you're going to keep only one car in Dubai, right? No, no two cars. One car in Dubai. Just one yeah. car in Dubai. It's Uber enough. is so good. <laughs> Uber looks. So how, how many times you drive it on the... Like every week? Uh, probably two days a week. 
uh, Saturday and yeah, Sunday yeah. or Friday and Saturday? Fri Friday, Saturday. Yeah, so you're yeah. just taking it out, like yeah. right, just to just show off. Food. That's it, right? Yeah. Sometimes I'll take it to the gym. Okay. And then sometimes. I'll but most of the time, they just Uber around here. Yeah, because it's easier. I think it's cheap faster. But it's nice. But but the fuel's cheap here because there's no tax. Like the, really? the fuel okay. is very very cheap. Okay. So full tank of fuel here in American dollars might be sixty dollars. 60 bucks oh, and it's gonna last you for how how many kilometers? Uh, 150. It shows 400 kilometers? <laughs> wow! So we can go to Abu Dhabi right now? Potentially. If I put my foot down, <laughs> it would probably go less, yeah? Uh, you could do that. That's Andre impressed. <laughs> no, you know, like, driving the characteristic, I think like Aston is really good actually. Как ребенок. Can I come in? Sure. All right. So I want to see where this famous entrepreneur James live. Sure. <laughs> so this is Dubai. This is in a place called Dubai Marina. Okay. Um, so here is the second bedroom, which I don't really use at the moment. So it's good for guests or friends that are staying over. Um, you get a so a partial sea view to the pond. That's nice. Over there. Yeah, beautiful. You see the sun's just setting now, so it's a little. And that's Marriott, opposite. Yeah. <laughs> Your favorite hotel. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Through here we've got the main living space, and this is important for me to have all glass windows everywhere, so it was nice and bright. So all the way to the floor. Yeah, and like when you wake up, the sun's rising. You've got the sun most of the day. Um, so along here you've got the kitchen, which uh, doesn't really do much cooking, as you can see from. No cooking. Christine. Oh my goodness. Like, n n no one cooked here, probably, yeah. ever. Probably the fridge is, uh, just got Fiji water, pretty much. <laughs> so all you eat is Fiji water and so some, some eggs, yeah. some uh, milk, and that's it. Gosh. I've got an espresso machine and YouTube bullet to make smoothies each day. Uh, but really, like, in Dubai, not many people cook because you've got a range of every single restaurant here. I mean, even around the marina, there's two, I think, just short shy of 200 restaurants. Just wow. Like, yeah. Crazy, but, but the view is amazing. Yeah, so I'll let you see the view. And this is a dining table, and that's my uh, workstation. Stand up there, that's where I do all my work every day. Pretty cool. And this is, uh, is that your agency blueprint, right? That's my, uh, yeah, agency blueprint. Very nice. 112 active clients. Good job. It's more now, I think. It's more now? Wow. Whoa, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Does the view motivate you every every day? Every day, yeah. Every day, gosh. And at night it's even it's if, like everything lights up 
and it's just beautiful actually very nice patio decent so how much you pay for it um, if so it's not a secret I think 325,000 dirhams so it's about in dollars maybe 75,000 dollars a year 70,000 dollars a year 75, 75 but you have to pay like the whole year for that right it's annual yeah, rent correct, yeah. wow but looks amazing especially the view 40th floor I just love it beautiful apartment thank you thanks for sharing You're welcome.